Okay, this here is a 100% duty cycle hydrogen torch. Just in case you don't know what duty cycle I'm referring to, that's referring to the welding type duty cycle, which means that this machine can run continuously without having to be shut off. Basically what I've got here is a high amp DC transformer setup. The problem with this cell is, is that the cell design itself, the flow channels and all that, break down at about 70 amps. And I need way more current than that. This flame you're looking at here is about 35 amp flame. That's good for soldering and a lot of stuff like that, but I need about 500 amps. That's what I'm going to get out of this cell here at about 5 volts per gap. It's a 24 plate cell, a high flow cell. But I need this control panel off of this to fix, to make that thing work. So I got to take this thing apart. It was basically just a test to figure out if I could make a copper cathode cell, and I did. That's basically what's inside that stainless steel tube there. Is there is a copper cathode running through that. You can see my terminal there. That top spout there was for a cooling system. But the cell runs so cool even at 70 amps and it doesn't need a cooling system. Um, these caps here were to help with the harmonic distortion that this thing creates. And I gotta tell you, DC systems of this type do not work well at all. There's just too much distortion. And I don't have any DC caps. So all these other caps I had hooked up just ain't gonna help. My bubbler's not working right at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm taking this thing apart because I need this control panel. But I wanted to archive it first. This was just kind of an experiment and it did not go too well. But the transformer did work okay. It just needs an inductor or a DC capacitor on it. It has a lousy power factor. We're talking about 0.4 at best. So, that's the end of that. Tearing it apart.